Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are at Starshine Ranch because the guy who does the Horses of Yorick races is back with a western themed race and this race is available on a few different horse breeds including the American Paint. So let's get right into it. So for this race you'll need an American Quarter, an American Paint, a Curly Horse, Hydron from the Winter Village, or Tomb Hunt. The race will be here for three weeks so until December 1st so you'll have plenty of opportunities to race and I love that this race will include a lot of different horse breeds. So for this race you just need to be a Star Rider and a blocked Starshine Ranch and of course have the horse breeds to do this, this race. But that is all I have to say, so let's get started and talk to the guy who runs it all. I'm not sure how to say his name, um, but let's do this. I'm on my American Paint. Uh, I absolutely love these horses, and I chose, Pan I chose Panda for this one. Okay, howdy. My name is Gilmore Gata, and I'm one of the founders of the HOJ Focus Races. So I think he just says the same thing over and over again. Um, they just changed the horses that are required to do the race. And we'll just get started on this. Okay, so now that we talked to him, we can start the race. So it's 150 XP, which is usually what it is. So it's pretty good, and you do get a little bit of Yorvik shillings. This looks interesting. This should be a fun race. So I did a little bit better on time. It's still a little bit confusing, especially that one part in the middle with all those cones. I can't keep track which direction I need to go into. Um, so it's still a little bit tricky, but again, it's just my first couple times doing it. And um, it's at Starshine Ranch, so it's also at a good location where um, I would come here for other races and for the animal herding. So I should get more practice on this race. Um, but yeah, that was the race. 
So the next thing in today's update is there's actually some discounted horses. There's two horse breeds that are discounted for a limited time, again for three weeks, December 1st. And I don't think Star Stable's ever done this before, or then they've only discounted horse breeds if another one was going to get updated. But obviously the two that I'm going to mention aren't going to get an update. They're still new horses, so those are the Curly Horses and the American Quarter Horses. So the Quarter Horses are at Starshine Ranch, and they don't have as much of a discount as the Curly Horse, but they still have some discount. And, and if I click on one of them, you can see that they are indeed discounted. So this horse is kind of a weird price, but that's just because it's 25% off, and it, it happens to kind of be this strange... Um, like, it's not like an even number. So this horse will, all the quarter horses will cost 713 star coins. And, I mean, the quarter horses aren't my absolute favorite, but actually the one I'm looking at now, um, I love the coat on it. I mean, the breed isn't my favorite. I only own one quarter horse. I made a video on it when it came out. And again, like, I like the model and everything, but... I don't know, I just don't like how it stands. I don't know, it's just, it's just like, it, I don't know, it's like leaning forward so much, like it barely picks up its head. Like, I don't know, it, like its head is like just so low to the ground and I like them, but I don't know. And again, I like some of these other coats, like the bay, the flea bitten, but maybe not this horse breed. I don't know, it just looks down way too much it's also grazing right now which it does a lot so maybe not the american quarters but i know a lot of people love these horses and they are expensive to begin with so this is a great deal but i'm gonna head over to fir grove because like i said the curly horses also have a discount and again i only own one quarter horse they're slightly older and these horses i do like more i know they're not the most favorite but um, I might buy one of the curly horses. So let's go ahead to Fir Grove, take a look at them. Um, I do have the gray one in my home stable, so I kind of forget what all the coats look like, but we'll see in a second. Okay, so here we are. So the curly horses are on the left. First off, we have this chestnut one. Um, it's not one of my favorite coats. We have this one, which reminds me of the York Pony. The face marking is not my favorite on it. I do really love this Tobiano. This coat is... Eh, it's okay. Like I said, I have the gray. I love Palominos. And then I think that's it, because then there's the Finn horses, the old Morgan horses, and yeah. So I'll have to think about if I want these curly horses, because next week... Um, there's going to be a new updated horse breed coming out, the updated Icelandics. We don't know too much about them from the Star Stable team, but we are going to get new horses next week, so I wouldn't want to buy a lot of them. I forgot to mention the price of these horses, so these horses are more discounted. They're actually almost half price. They're 40% off. I think the original price is about 850 star coins, and now they cost 510. That is a super good deal, like two of these horses is a little bit more than the price of, you know, one good horse breed, like ones we've been getting lately. Before I forget to mention, I know this was one of the questions asked, any of these horses that are also in the app, the Star Stable Horses app, will not be discounted. Only the horses in the online game will be discounted, so make sure you know that. So I'm really in love with two of them, and those two are the Topiano one. Um, I know I have horse... I know I already own horses that are kind of like this, like the Topiano. I forget how many I own. Um, I know I have an old American paint horse like this, and I forget if I have any others. I think I have an Irish cop like this, but I think they don't look too similar. And then the other horse I'm in love with is the Palomino. I think I might like the Pal Palomino slightly more. So I'm going to buy the Palomino first. And, that, and then I think I'm going to buy this horse. I mean, they're 510 star coins. I know I don't have to buy them both today. Um, but I feel like if I don't buy them today, then I may not 
then I may not buy them for the rest of the time. I'll start off with the Palomino, that's all I know for sure. Especially on the Palomino, you can just see how much fluffiness is inside the ears. Like, it looks... I, I can't get over how fluffy the ears are. So this one is my favorite. So I am back and it took me ages to figure out which horse I wanted, but this way I don't have to say I regretted buying a horse. Because uh, a lot of people end up doing it, they regret buying a horse, they didn't think it through, um, they were impulsive, and I don't care if I spent a lot of time, I want to be happy with my decision. So it turns out I have at least four Dark Bay Topianos, and um, a couple of them are newer breeds of Topianos, and as much as I love the coat and the model, like, it's kind of a specific um, horse coat, and I don't want, like, yet another one in my home stable so i think i'm only gonna bring home the palomino and also its eyes are super pretty they're kind of yellowish i think whoops that was a close view it has a really pretty eye color i love the face marking the socks let's just go with this curly horse i can't believe how cheap they are i hope they could i hope they do this with more horse breeds in the future because I did not see this coming and I really appreciate it. So I was thinking about this name. It is such a cute horse and it's bright and I don't know, I just love the coat so much. I think it's one of the best palominos in the game. I love these I love these types of palominos. There's also like a North Swedish palomino like this. But anyways, I'm gonna go with the name Daisy using the one word name name option. I'm still like doing that. I know a lot of people love that and I'm one of them so let's go with Daisy and I think I'm really happy with my purchase. Um, I could always think about the other one if I change my mind but I think for now I like it. Who knows, it'll probably be like a Dark Bay Topiano Icelandic horse that may come out next week so yeah I'll probably like that one more but let's go to my home stable and get the horse. So here is my new horse. It looks so cute, especially from the front, and it does have a special gait as well. It has um, kind of like a tolt. Speaking of Icelandic horses, the Icelandic horses that are in the game right now and New Hillcrest, they have the prices have been lowered. So ever since last Wednesday's update, actually, the price has been lowered, and they're 490 star coins, and the generation 2 and those are the generation 2 models so if you want to get one of the older uh, generation Santa horses there are 490 star coins and those horses will stay at that price permanently uh, they usually do this for horses that are going to get an update and it makes perfect sense since it is an older model and I forget how old it is but it is an older model um, I'm not, however, going to get one of those horses. So that is next week's update, the Icelandic horses, and I'm assuming all the coat colors will be coming out, although I'm pretty sure there's a lot of coat colors uh, for this horse breed, so you never know. Uh, if they did make extra just for this horse breed, since it's one of the more popular and special ones, then I don't know if they would split it up, but I know the area around New Hillcrest has gotten a bit of an update. People noticed that last week. Um, so yeah, I honestly can't wait for that. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'd love to know if you bought any of the discounted horses, if you're planning to, and if you liked the race that was released today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more, like the video, and turn on notifications so you know every single time I make a new video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!